Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, up the tube, righty roo. Basically, we're uh, off to the Warren. We're off to the Warren. It's midweek madness. It's a Wednesday. Chris called me. Fancy a bit of fishing. I've got some bait left over from the weekend. So why not? Do you know what I mean? Right, so basically, we've got a northwesterly wind blowing up to 20. Uh, should be right down the Warren. It should be off our backs. If we're fishing the rocks, I'm going to fish one rod. If we're fishing the seawall, I'm going to fish two rods. Um, species, doggy, doggy, dog fish. Um, bass, mackerel, um, yeah, flounder, the occasional smooth hound, small eyed. Small eyed's what I'm after. I'm going to be fishing sand hill and fish baits. Um, hitting them as far as I can. Hopefully, we can pick up a decent little small eyed. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd do a quick bit in the car because I'm not sure how windy it's going to be. But uh, we are going to be fishing the five foot pulleys as I'll show you when we get there. I'll show you the baits and that, how I wrap them up. And then, yeah, we'll send them out. Hopefully, we'll be able to send them a bit further now because the casting's coming along. But um, I've got to go because I've got to go and get Chris. He keeps ringing me. He's on my case. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, I've been at work, so he's panicking. I'm not going to make it. There you go. You can hear him now ringing. Right. <laughs> I'm off. I'll go pick him up. I'll bring you back when we're on a bank in a bit. Right then, boils. Right. As promised, we're down on the rocks. So I'm only going to fish one rod, just to make it easier because there's not a lot of space. As you can see, got a nice squid bait there. Just about to bang this on the pulley panel. Five foot pulley, as always. <laughs> Gone for the orange, orange today. Get that hook down and send it out. Obviously, Chris is here, just to my left. Um, so hopefully there's a few people here at the minute, but once they're gone, I'll get up and uh, try and send a lead out pendulum style. But obviously it's not really safe to do so at the minute. There's just too many people on holiday. Oh, yay. Christopher. Yes. Why is this keep getting wrapped up, boy? No idea. Ah, there we go. She's unwrapped now. Right, I'm going to get this one out. As always, if I catch a fish, I'll bring you back. If not, I'll bring you back anyway. But look at that, look. Absolute backdrop on there. Front row seats to the boat show, baby. <laughs> In a bit. Well, not a touch. Unfortunately, seems like there's no tide here. So I'm gonna try and whack one out a bit further in a minute. So I've got a bit of squid left on there. I'm just gonna uh, grab another bit of bit. Sardines, regular's finest. Ooh, lovely bit of fish. <laughs> if we don't catch any, I'll put one on here and pretend. <laughs> what are you doing over there, boy? Picking up, Picking up the rubbish. Again, rubbish. <laughs> don't rubbish. take it with you. Don't take it with you. Take it with you. Don't leave it. It's disgusting. Everywhere we go. Do you know what I mean? Fortunately, we pick it up. Some people don't. It is a shame. Right, I'm just going to cut this into a nice section. Straight down there. There you go. Bosh. Right. A lecky. When you're on the rocks, make sure you <laughs> make sure you watch where you put your elastic. Because as soon as you drop it, that's it. It's gone. You ain't getting it back. Especially if you're fishing out of the warren. Really, really. So I've got a bit of, little bit of squid left on there. So... Instead of wasting it, I'm just going to uh, back this sardine on there. Come on. Here we go. Whip, whip, whip. Whip, whip, whip. Nay, 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 nay. Right. Hopefully, the scent of this will entice a fish because we've got no tide. The water's very green from all the May rock, which I thought would have gone by now, but obviously not. Still a bit in the water. Um, ain't gonna be an advantage to us, but it is what it is. 
obviously this bait's still semi-frozen, so it's quite easy to wrap on. Um, if you can keep it frozen, ideal. If not, a lot of people use a baiting tool, needle, knitting needle, baiting tool, whatever you want to call it. I use a, the good old nanny knitting needle. But obviously, there you go, look. Get the base, bait nice and straight, hook showing, both sides, opposite ends. That's how I like to do it. Right, so I'm gonna clip this up now. Hopefully this gets us a fish, because it um, looks a bit dire out here. <laughs> but we're still gonna try, we're having a laugh. I mean, Chris has nearly fallen in twice. <laughs> so, uh, right, <laughs> gonna send this one out in a bit. Right, well, hit that one out, managed to find some tide. Um, nothing come of it. So, just uh, reeled it in, put another bait on, and now to my right, I've got about five or six people sat here watching the sunset. So unfortunately, until it gets dark, I'm not going to be able to do that cast again, just in case, to be safe. So, I managed to get a decent over there thump, believe it or not, <laughs> and find a bit more tide. You might not be able to see from that angle, because you're quite square on. But, rod's bent over. There's definitely some tide movement moving through now. Just had a bit of, uh, put a bit of lug on as well, so. Fingers crossed for a bass, if not a fish. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful out here tonight. We do have a nice breeze coming off the back, but there's a there's like a sea wall behind us, so you can't really hear it or see it. But yeah, flat calm. So hopefully we'll get a fish in a bit. Right, I'm back. As you can see, it's getting dark. So just before it gets dark, I know I've done a lot of talk in this video and I do apologize because I know some people don't like it, but it is what it is. <laughs> We're not catching fish, so I thought I'd just quickly show you how I peel a crab. I've done it before. We've got two here, they're not, they're not massive. So I'm gonna put them on as a double bait because obviously I've got the big pair of size fives on. So what I do is I take all the legs off Put them to one side, use them for tipping. Left with the crab. So at the, at the back of the crab, the base of the crab there, just slightly lift it. There we go. Ease it away from the, from the body. There's the top, gone. That's not rubbish. The seagulls will pick that up or it will just break down. Right, sides come off. Turn it to the underside. At the back, there's a flap. That bit comes off. Lovely. And then you've got this six-pack centre, I call that one. Get your finger in there. Just ease away the shell. These are really good peelers, these are. Chris only gets the best peelers. Lovely jubbly. And there you have it. All soft all the way around. I'm going to get the other one prepped up now. Obviously, that's how you peel them. Some people leave the bottom shell on. I don't know, maybe for a little bit, not a little bit of texture or something for the fish. Um, keep it a bit more natural, I suppose. But I'm going to do that. I'm going to get the next one on. Reel the rod in. Hit a cast out before it gets dark. And uh, hopefully that'll get us a fish. We are at high water now. So we're going to fish the next two hours out. Fingers crossed for just one bite. Just one bite will do. If not, just sit here drinking my coffee. Obviously not got work in the morning, so I might sit on a bit later, I'm not too sure. Did tell the wife I'd be home a bit earlier tonight. So that was a little cuddle on that. <laughs> Fishing's priority, isn't it? <laughs> if she's watching this, I do apologise. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Right, they're both peeled up now. Right, so I'm going to get that one in. Bang it on. Bit of a left to get his string. 
Hit it out, see if we can't pull us a nice bass. Maybe a hound. In a bit. Bosh, right. Well, guys, as you can see, we're well into darkness now. Um, yeah, does not look like it's going to happen, but we're still going to fish one anyway. Bit let down on the casting today. Next time I go fishing, I'm definitely going to hit a beach. Um, I tried hitting overhead, a few overhead thumps, try and get some distance. I mean, it's going out there, but it just look, looks really crap on camera. <laughs> um, and it feels really crap too. Like, now I've learned how to cast, well, sort of cast nearly properly. Like, when you hit that cast and then you go to overhead dump, it just feels pointless. <laughs> I mean, it works. It gets out there, you know, gets the fish and that. I even uploaded a short earlier. I think the first comment on it was like, oh, that looks terrible, which rightly so. It just did. I don't know why I uploaded it. It was just pointless. But, um, you know, just out there looking for a bit of content. But it, once I posted it, I just didn't feel right about it either. It just looked so bad. But... You know, it's what it is. Took it down. I'm going to wait until I get to the beach so I can hit some proper casts because um, we'll have some room then. But when you're on these sort of rocks, you can't really can't really do cast very far, to be fair. We well, can cast far enough. I mean, well into 80 yards, but... I mean, doing the old fancy fang dangle, swing the lead and all that, there's just no chance. It's not even enough. And um, obviously the laid-back cast would be good, which I haven't really got yet. But uh, I'll be, I think I'm doing a bit more on that next week in the casting. So once I've got the laid back, hopefully I'll be able to hit that off the rocks and it'll look a lot better on camera. But yeah, other than that, fishing's quiet. So I'm going to catch up with Chris. Um, just pulled up a few more crabs. So I'm going to bang them on, hit it out. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get a fish. If not, we have got a couple more hours, so I'm still hopeful. It's actually turned really nice. Wind's dropped off completely. It's warmed up a little bit as well. So I might even have to take the hoodie off in a minute. You know, get the old baps out and that. <laughs> I'm only joking. But normally, this mark, after darkness, you at least get a few dogfish. So, fingers crossed, we'll get one in. Yeah, in a bit. Right, guys. So, just missed the first bite. <laughs> Absolutely gutted. Um, there is a bit of tide there now, but it's only a little bit. So... We did change something. We've gone from a six down to a four ounce lead. So hopefully, and it's a rolling lead as well. So hopefully with that, the tide can, the bait will move along with the tide a little bit. Hopefully find us a fish. Um, might work, might not. Hopefully it will. So as that bait's moving along slowly in the tide, the fish will nail it rather than just slowly picking out the bait that's just stood still. I don't know if it's going to work. Hopefully it works, fingers crossed. But there's a little bit of tide there now. The bait's moving around a bit, so hopefully that'll entice the fish in a bit. There you have it. There's the culprit. Chris with his, uh, oh, camera's in blinding everyone with the light. But there you go, first fish of the night. Little strap by Chris. Obviously the bite I missed a minute ago is probably a strap as well, but obviously I'm using bigger hooks. So uh, that's probably why I didn't get it. So I might scale down now, see if I can get myself one. Well done, Chris. What bait was that on? Crab. Crabby woos, boy. Crabby woos. Right then, we'll get this one unhooked and put back in a bit. Bosh. Right then, famous last cast. Uh, it's getting on a bit now. Chris has got to get back for the kids in the morning. And if I don't leave, I'll never leave. <laughs> well, obviously, I've got to drop him back. So, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to call it a night. I mean, if I do get a fish, I'll throw it in at the end. Um, just a quick note before we leave. I know it's a bit of a sour one. But there you go. This bag was left here. And I don't know if you can see inside. All that rubbish. Stella cans. All different beer cans. Loads of line and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, we're going to take this with us. Throw it in the... There's literally a bin over the, over the wall. Do you know what I mean? It's disgusting, guys. Come on. Just take your rubbish with you. It is a shame. But on another note, me and Chris have had a really good evening. We caught up, had a few laughs. 
obviously he managed to <laughs> wangle a fish out so he beat me tonight but um yeah it just makes me raring to get back out there again uh hopefully i'll be back out friday fish on fridays you know how it is and uh if i don't see you before I'll see you after and if not i'll see you on the bank in a bit